Hello guys, welcome back to Good Show Tips. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix Halo Infinite is still crashing on your PC and how you can fix this up. So let's dive into it. So we have done a video, but it's not working for many of you guys. So we come with another few solutions by adding it up. So let's dive into the first solution. It's all about you just have to go over here on Halo Infinite on your Steam. You just have to right click and go to properties. Now from here, you just have to disable enable the steam overlay while in the game and you just have to go over here this is the first step and moving on we have additional method where you have to go to dlc and as you can see there is an option called uh, multiplayer high rest textures you just have to disable this one and once it is done you just have to go over here to the local files now from here you just have to go for verify integrity of game file so it's going to take a little bit time so uh, i have to wait for it and I'll be minimizing this as you know that the game is around uh, big so it's going to take time so even meantime we'll be going over here on uh, browse so that it will be taking you out us where the game is installed and as you can see the game is installed over here on local disk C so I'll be copy pasting this entire path as you can see I'm copy pasting this because we have one more step where you have to do this so just go over here on Halo infinite you just have to right click and go over here on gen you just have to move to properties now from here you just have to go up and click on compatibility then make sure disable full screen optimization is enabled in the same way you have to make sure that change high dpi setting is set you have to go for ok you just have to go for apply and go for ok once it is done you just have to close this and you have to check for the verify integrity of game files as you can see it is working in between meantime we have one more solution which i would like to show you guys that is just have to go over here in the search and you have to go for graphic settings now from here you just have to click on browse and from here you have to give the file name or you have to give the path so i'll be giving the path so that will take you to where the game is installed so you don't have to check in between so you have to select the game and you have to go for add so that is the reason i said you, you, you should be needing the path so you just have to copy paste the path once it is done you just have to go over option over here and change this to high performance and go for save once it is done, you just have to close this and you just have to go back to the Steam and most probably after verify of integrity of game files, you will be able to go and you will be able to go to play the game. And I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out.